Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Europa Universalis 4. My name is Chief Dragon and I'm playing as Poland. And yeah, in the last episode we turned the tide of the war against the uh, orders, Teutonic orders and uh, the Teutonic order and Livonian order over here. But I'm thinking about piecing out the Livonian order. I wanted to vassalize them, um, which I think I can. Yeah, I believe I could. Um, like points wise, not points wise, but um, they're small enough. Yeah, so they're 94%. I could totally do this. The problem is doing this. Wow, that really. I mean, I would have to fully occupy them, and that will. That's gonna tie all of my troops. I mean, right now we're sieging Teutonic Order fine, but they have 8,000 men right there, and they have 4,000 men right there. Plus, they are military tech five. So. I'm not sure if they crush my men over here, which they certainly could. Um, I don't know. It, it, Levo, uh, Lithuania is over here. They cannot help me. And they would take peace right now. So I might have to peace them out. But, you know, right now they're just going somewhere else, so I don't really care. Um, I guess I can just stay here for a while. But they are getting their men together. So I'll have to be careful. Yeah, I think I'm going to get my troops over here. I couldn't even walk here. I could walk over there. Should probably just walk home. I'll keep this province. And this is just gonna take forever to siege, unfortunately. I, I believe they're gonna go this way. Or maybe they're just gonna stand. Yeah, that there they come. I knew they were gonna do that. And Moldavia don't know what they're doing exactly. I should probably get out of this province. Getting some more points. When does this war start? 14... Wow, it's going on for four years now. That's a long time. Okay, he's... He keeps moving on, pushing on forward. Should probably just go in here. I don't know where he's going exactly. But he seems like he has a plan. Seems like it. Yeah, not entirely sure what he's up to. Feels like he wants to do something. He wants to retake the war goal. That I'm sure of. Yeah, I think that's what he that, that's what he wants to do. Um, but yeah, let's get going over here. Let's run away. We don't want to get caught. Yeah, so he's they're all sending in their men over there, which. Can I even walk there? I couldn't. Hmm. Uh, that's kind of troubling. C couldn't take any of this. So should I just peace out Livonian order right now? Probably. Yeah, don't vassalize them. That's just gonna be too expensive. I need to I need to peace out. And I can't take anything because we don't have 10%. Okay, so just peace out Livonian order. That's fine. It's the majority of their forces. Okay. Still have 9,000 men. We should be able to handle them, at least. At the very least. And I can't even walk there. Great. So lose stability or legitimacy. Probably go with legitimacy. Now we're losing war score again. But once Livonian order is here, it should be all good. Uh, Lithuania, I mean, not Livonian order. We're gonna retake Oldsburg. And he's building troops. Man, he's quick. He's really quick doing that. And we're now no longer ill. Thank the gods. That was a pain. Okay, so Livonian Order is just marching in there. And why do I keep saying Livonian Order? It's Lithuania. He's just gonna march in there. Not sure if that's the smartest move. But we're gonna help anyways. And it seems like we're winning. At least we have a good chance. This shock general is just so good. Riga, you are annoying as hell. Tell you that much. But yeah, we won anyways. Get out of town. Where are you? It's the wrong button. Riga, come on. Go away. Don't need ya. Ah, uh, bugger. I'm already at 0%, 7% even. I'm gonna see that in no time. Very nice. I wonder if we can walk through there. We should. What's this? Uh, arrange a marriage. Yes. Oh, and select heir's education. Um, my heir should probably 
join the mil he's a zero four zero, so he should probably join the military. Learn art of diplomacy. No, no. Religious matters. Join the military. I wonder what religious does. Maybe it gives one of each. But yeah, I think we need the military, so we should probably join the military. Yep. Okay. Join the, or remain at court. That would be admin. No, no, join the military. That's fine. And your first son is of age and available for marriage. Okay. So let's pick... Actually, yeah. Who's available? Arrange, arrange a foreign marriage for him. We could choose Moldavia, Denmark, hmm, Burgundy. Is there anyone interesting? It doesn't seem like it. Who could we choose? Denmark. Who are we allied with? I don't even know. Um, our enemies are Hungary, Sweden, Austria. Teutonic Order. Hmm, Denmark, Athens, Palatinate. We could pick Moldavia. What would that do? That would just make them like us more. No point really doing that. Um, you know what? Never mind. I think we're gonna pick a domestic marriage for that. Let's check out... Um, where is it? Country statistics? Ruler and dynasty. The first son. Two other, yeah, we can ma marry our first son. Third son is no longer living. Eight years old, 15. We don't have any claims. Or m perhaps we want Denmark. And maybe get a claim on Denmark. They're allied to Norway and Friesland. Conquer Osel. Which is this province right there. Um... We're married to Brandenburg. Ah, this is a odd decision. All right, let me check this again. Who's who's available? Moldavia. Now all these small guys are not important. Georgia looks nice, but they're kind of far far away. Burgundy would certainly be useful. Uh, but they looks like they're getting no. They're winning their their war against uh, England. Who are they fighting? Provence, obviously. Sweden. They're allied to Savoy. Would they take an alliance? They would not. Okay, let's try let's try Burgundy though. She's a distant family member. They accept it. Okay. And they're now much more willing to uh, accept our alliance proposal. So let's improve relations with them. Burgundy could kind of help keeping uh you know Austria in check. Um, since they still have... No, they lost their personal union, but they... They rivaled us anyways. Okay, sorry, that took a while, I know. But, um, it had to be done. Okay, so these guys are done. We're at 14%, walls busted over here with 7%, so this war should be over rather soon. Um, Lublin is getting... Gonna become a new seat of... Cardinal, sure. We have four Cardinals now. That's helping a lot. How many people influence are we getting? Hmm. 3.3. If can we improve relations? Wow, Florence really took a bite out of these guys. Improve relations with the Pope. That can only help us. There you go. And let's continue. Yeah. So ever uh, I once I pieced out. Okay. So they already took it. Wow. Seven percent chance that they took it. That's nice. But yeah. Ever since I pieced out Lithuania, it was much easier and now Sweden is causing trouble come on take the fort come on probably want to get our two mercenaries in here get them in there and do we have any regular troops yep the horses get the horses out of there at least well one of the horses Two of the horses. Now Brandenburg steps in. Ooh, oh, they're coming. Wow, more people are coming. Interesting. They immediately want to retake stuff. 
fine. Let's give me that horse. Don't want to waste manpower sitting around. We're losing cash though. Not cool. Brandenburg, what are you doing? How many allies have you got? Poland and Hunter Hansa, okay. Nobody important. Hopefully we're gonna be able to siege this faster than Teutons will siege that shit. That would be frustrating if they would be faster. It appears like they are. Come on. 5,000. Oh, what's this? Uh, the Nisjefava. What? Nisava privileges. Conventionis particulares. Oh, Conventionis particulares. It's Latin. After concessions to the nobility in 1425 and during the Thirteen Years War, Casimir IV was again forced to new concessions to be able to raise troops among them a lot of mercenaries. Uh, a lot of. Okay. Among them a lot of mercenaries. The king needed money from the Slachta, the nobility. In an effort to solve the monarch monarchy's pressing problems, he had to accept the Nisava privileges, implying that Nobili had the right to hold local convenciones particulares. Sounds so Spanish. Without, without which no troops could be raised and no taxes extracted. In this way, the Nobili got an efficient and powerful organization with the joint mutual interest and power of the military and taxation legislative procedure. So accept this or have rebels in Danzig. Um, yeah, I'd rather have the rebels. Thank you. Refuse to sign and it and defy the magnates. There you go. And they immediately move to this fort, which is totally cool with me. Have fun sieging that. Wow, they already had 7%. Come on, that's bullshit. And Aragon is bankrupt. If they're gonna siege that quicker than me, that's gonna be... That's just gonna be fucking annoying. Feel like this is what? The how? What the hell? How's that possible? Change in royal authority. Um, we have ruled for a long time. That's great. Let's actually get our troops out of here. We need to stop them from doing this. Hopefully. Okay, actually, you know what? One thing I have to do. Let one guy stand here. And with the other, we have to attack. Because I have the feeling Brandenburg will jump in. Okay, attack. We just need to distract them so that they don't finish the siege. Because that would be really terrible. And Florence and Hungary are allied. And now we've taken the capital. Very nice. And this war, if we could. Only, if only. I get that diplomat back. Bell is kind of useless now, but whatever. All right, five more war score. Don't need it. Give me all your stuff. Give me all of this. And new mark as well. That would be a hundred percent. Thank you. Revoke your cores. It's gonna help certainly. Not necessary really, but. Give up your claims in on my lands. Okay, you can't do that. Whatever, just peace out. Peace out, whatever. Okay, so we full annexed to Teutonic Order and Brandenburg got something out of it, which are pro yeah, they're probably happy about this. Um, gave province and conquered rival province. Good. We can get rid of this and now we should get our troops together. So that we can, uh, he wants access, sure, we can fight these guys. And Novgorod is no longer a valid rival, unfortunately. So we should probably revoke the embargo. And set a new rival. Um, so Muscovy, Sweden, Hungary or Austria, probably gonna pick Hungary. Because they border us and they've rivaled me. And you're probably gonna pick Sweden as well. Simply because we can. Yeah. Pick Sweden. Alright. So we kind of have to fight these guys now. And there's so many forts here, that's just a waste of money, really. Um, so let's 
get rid of that fort, please. How's the war exhaustion? Reduce that, and let's make these provinces cores. Um, this fort right here we can leave for now. Actually, we don't need it necessarily. So, let's get rid of that as well. Although it's a river asteroid, you can guard a river asteroid, that's fine. We have a fort here as well. Geez, so many forts. Uh, that's really dumb. Alright, get rid of this. Yeah, get rid of this. Don't need the fort. I don't think we need this fort either. If we build one here in the capital, which we should, we don't need this one. Get rid of it. But instead, build one here. We don't have enough mo uh, money for that. Okay, we'll wait. We have some more manpower. We could build a horsey. So let's build a horsey. Actually, no, not here. It takes way too long. And we should also get some more mercs. Mm, 18. Okay. Oh, well, a couple of them. Four, maybe. Sounds good. Cool. And let's go back to improving relations with the Pope. Wow, look at Naples! Jesus! Look at Naples! Wow! They've taken a lot of provinces. Everyone has cores on this. Gee. And they also have cores over here. Wow, Naples, you are powerful. Looks like Naples is going to win Italy. Although he doesn't have any allies right now. But yeah, I was I wanted to improve relations with the Pope. So let's do that. Wow, they are at 0%. I need to do something about that. Let's go over here. Where do you have river crossings here? I'm sure there's some. Okay, not Varmia though. So we can all attack from Varmia. Wow, 17,000 men. That's definitely some. Will be 16,000. What is his Polish nobles? Um, he has one shock. We have three shock attack. Actually, wait until next month. And then we attack. Yes. Then we're gonna get some more men, and he'll get some more attrition. Actually, we didn't get any more men. H how do- what?! Oh, it's terrain. Okay, I thought we had a river crossing. Gee. Okay, wow, we're still losing heavily. Why is that? They have more morale. But that- wow! We must have been unlucky with rolls. Yeah, rolling zeros not helping. That is unfortunate. Hopefully, Lithuania will still pursue these guys. Brandenburg is even gonna help. Okay, thanks guys. Thanks guys for dealing with my rebels. Okay, we now have provincial unrest. Yeah, I noticed. We should probably improve or increase autonomy. Yeah, and let's consolidate regiments. Where's the unrest the highest? It's Austro it's all of these provinces, okay. Let's go to one. Yeah, they're rising fast. Um, but 10... 6 is not that cool. No, I'm not gonna raise autonomy. Nope, won't do it. Separatism is just very high. Okay. Well, at least we got that done, and as soon as we'll be able to... Uh, Livoniono will be able to attack... Wow, in March? That is quick. We can almost attack them again. We should definitely do that. Do we have a claim? I think not. Let's get one. Maybe we can get Buh uh, Burgundy as an ally. No, but it's close. Army strength, distance between border, and neutral attitude. Alright, let's get a claim on these guys. Wow. What well, can I declare war? No, no Casas Valley. Alright, let's get a claim and then that should be good. Golding in. I'm not gonna take anything. I just want to vassalize them. And we're taking attrition. Great. Let's split up and you go over here. 
And that was the end of the episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Swift Drunker, signing off.